Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, quick introduction. My name is Allison. I am the host and also the producer of the show called Teen Time. That's the show that you guys are going to be on in July. And before we get started, has anybody listened to the show or heard about the show before? Yes. You have? Yes. Awesome. Did you only listen to open space with the students talking or did you listen to the full show with the music? Uh, I have listened to the um, short clip. Okay. Yes. Like the the recent uh, Tin Time. Right. Which is on um, 8th of May. 8th of May. 8th of May. 8th of May. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, maybe we can get the, the only gentleman in the house, Moses. Could you like to start by saying something like, hey, we're students from Methodist College. I'm Moses. And then, hi, I'm Arlene. Hi, I'm Alicia. Hi, I'm Eugenia. I'll just record this part first so everybody can test the microphones as well. All right. Anytime you're ready. Hello everybody, we're students from Methodist College and I'm Moses. Hello everybody, we're students from Methodist College and I'm Moses. I'm Arlene. I'm Alicia. And I'm Eugenia. Awesome. For your discussion, and I will give you a little bit of a hand gesture so you know how time is doing. This means the last two minutes. This is the last one minute. Last 30 seconds, and in the last 10 seconds will be a second to second countdown. You don't have to be super perfect and tell them to the last second. It's just an idea to wrap it up. Okay, and your five minutes begins now. Yeah, so our topic today, uh, we would like to talk about um, the cultural globalization, uh, which is in a very hot issue in the world right now. So, uh, for me, myself, I think uh, it brings more harm than um, benefits to the globe because uh, it homogenizes our um, culture like different cultures in the world and I think um, like take an example like we, we, we go to uh, we, we have breakfast and we have lunch outside the school and then we usually go to uh, some um, fast food chain stores but not traditional Hong Kong restaurants that's one of the example that uh, how our local culture is eliminated through a uh, by the cultural uh, globalization. So, what do you think? Well, in my perspective, I think cultural globalization also causes some exploitation of low-paid workers. Well, if we delved into the um, problem deeply, we can see that if you want to carry out a cultural uh, cultural globalization around the globe, you have to set up different firms or corporations around the world and these kind of corporations and firms they got some um, they got uh, a wide range of workers from different districts of the world and most of them are low paid workers because um, well, for a entrepreneur, they want to maximize their profit, so they will choose low-paid workers for their companies. And well, unfortunately, we can see that there are sweatshops happen, and these problems really challenge the human rights of um, the world. So I think cultural globalization really causes some. Um, some contro controversial topics um, or debates um, in the society about the human rights. So, what do you think about that? Um, well, in my opinion, I believe this is double-edged sword because it certainly brings a lot of benefits. For example, like I believe that where the world is supposed to be a place where, like, is a is supposed to be a combination of different like parts, culture, and people. And it certainly give an access to new culture, like art, even arts, entertainment, and education, like flip the classroom, musical, some Western musical, and some comedies. And but there are also some like cons, like um, it will limit our cultural innovation. For example, we just simply copying, not learning from it. We just simply follow the footsteps of other country, but not doing some innovation stuff. Um, basically, I think uh, cultural globalization can help the whole world to become more, uh, more good and better. Because, uh, like for example, like Moses said, uh, he said like uh, some fast food shop that we every day make 
go to just for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And actually, um, they are not just specific uh, Western food. Uh, they also mix uh, Hong Kong culture with the other countries, like for example, the hamburger. Uh, they, uh, some hamburgers are made up of uh, rice and uh, they basically some lettuce and cheese. Uh, they mix Chinese culture with Western culture. And I think um, these mixed cultures can uh, let people accept different cultures and also uh, Another example is K-pop. Uh, I think uh, we teenagers really like music uh, just to relax. And I think nowadays um, EDM music is really famous among us. Uh, just like uh, America using EDM music and then K-pop just follow uh, its path and then uh, they use dancing and then just mix all together to make the world better. What do you think? Yeah, of course, go, um, cultural globalization do have its own advantages on different criteria. For, for example, um, it, it, it spreads the culture to, um, to the globe, to the citizen um, of the world, so well, actually there are two sides of a uh, issue. So maybe we can dig deeper into these issues um, in the following discussions. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna be getting ready for the real take. As you've heard, uh, the only difference is going to be that I'm gonna be joining your discussion. So we'll be asking you different questions about cultural globalization, what your points are, what do you think about it, uh, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? So if you want, you can look at what you wrote as a reference, but because people who are listening to the radio are, are super smart and they can tell if you're reading or you're talking. So even if you want to read, try to sound as natural as you can, all right? Try to sound like you're still talking to me instead of just reading out of nowhere. Also, the second pointer is all of these mics are going to be on at all times. So if I'm asking Moses something, if Alicia, you have a, a, an extra point that you want to raise up, you're more than welcome to. Everybody can talk whenever you want to, but just make sure that every time you speak, you're speaking to the microphone. You don't have to kiss the mic. You just have to have your face pointing towards the mic. Roughly, it's the mic. You just have to have your face pointing towards the mic. Roughly about this. Kind of distance, that'll be perfect. Um, especially for Arlene and Alicia because she does it in the middle. And I understand that sometimes you want to have eye contact with the person next to you when you're middle. talking. And I understand that sometimes you want to have eye contact with the person next to you when you're talking. Try not to do that. Because the moment you turn your head away, I'm going to lose you with the audio. Okay, so whenever you're speaking, try to stay focused with the mic. Okay? Uh, um, Moses and Eugenia, welcome to just punch in. If you need to elbow each other out of the way to get access to the mic. Well, you just do that, okay? You just do that, okay? <laughs> All right. 